Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Bant Arcbow. So y'all know that I have been enjoying Selesnya Arcbow and Gruul Arcbow as well, both of those, uh, but particularly, particularly Selesnya Arcbow here recently. And so I wanted to try Bant. So basically, the as you can see, there we don't have a whole lot of blue cards in here. The main reason why I'm playing Bant is for Frilled Mystic. So we're replacing, taking out Nullhide Ferox, putting in Frilled Mystic, and seeing if we get to counter some spells. The other thing that I just want to do is I want to have the Shalai Spark Double combo. I don't know if it'll ever work, if, we, if we're ever going to be able to pull it off. But I want to be able to have that combo. So we're going to just have the Spark Double in here. And hopefully try that um and you know like that that could just be just awesome where everything has hex proof you know and can't target anything can't target our planeswalkers or any of our creatures or any of that kind of stuff um so that's that's what we're going to try uh, i haven't played this deck yet you know i just kind of put it together today uh so you know it may not uh run too well maybe we need some more like mana creatures uh, some other stuff early on turns one and two besides what I just have here. Uh, besides that, Deputy Detention gives us some good interaction, especially against like the aggro decks there. And of course, we have Shalai and Lyra to try to take over in the air. Um, that's our game plan. We'll kind of see how it goes, see if we need to adjust and everything. So like I said, we're just, just starting off with this brew here, and we'll see. We'll play some games and adjust accordingly as we play. So... Let's head on over to Mythic, just throw it right into the fire, and see how Bant feels. Yes, Kef yes, Kefnet would reduce the cost of mass manipulation whenever you reveal it, so you would, it would reduce it by two, so you would get a free, you know, so it does reduce it by two, so yes, you get one, like, free thing on manipulation there. Yeah, Wanderer with Command the Dread Horde. That is, that's an insane combo. You just don't take any damage. You just get everything. Uh, no, there are no changes with wild card. Like your wild cards, you can see your wild cards up in the top right hand corner whenever you're on the main screen. Uh, that'll be the end of the stream. So yeah, streaming here for another four hours or so. So we'll have Ban Arcbow for a couple hours, Grixis Control for a couple hours. Having an earlier stream today. I started two hours earlier than normal. Today and planning on ending it a couple hours early as well. War boss. Hmm. So a blue red deck with Legion War Boss. It's certainly a good card these days. And pretty good against me too, how they can protect it with burn spells and everything, so pretty good against me. By protect, I mean help it get through for damage. So we're going to go down to 10. Okay, cool, Joyv. Good. Glad to hear. Yeah, you can find the mono red crisis deck. Here, or I also just uploaded it to the YouTube channel, so it's up on the YouTube channel now as well. I 
Let's just see if we hit Frilled Mystic. We did. We've done it. We did it. Counter Kefnet. We did it. Hmm. Problem is, we're going to be at three unless we draw... Ooh, untap land. Good. So as you can tell, I did not block Legion War Boss. I blocked one of the other two twos. Because Legion War Boss forces their creature to attack into me. And so I actually want Legion War Boss on the battlefield. Because I want them to have to attack into Lyra. And so yeah, they're they're setting everybody. So now, like, the, the main plan is to have Arcbo go grab. You know, hopefully we hit one of the three Shalais or the Spark Double with his Arcbo for the next turn. And then and then we just pull ahead by a ton. Don't think I shocked to do that, though. I think that's a little too risky. So, shall I or Spark Double? Hmm. Deputy's not bad. I guess we'll kill the war boss. Spark Double. And the the two Lyras pump each other, of course, because it's other angels. So like we got we got the two angels. <laughs> yeah, maybe our opponent is. A relative of Johnny Pot Pie, who's always in the chat. Yeah, Chicken Pot Senpai. Double life link. So we've hit pretty well here. We got the uh, Frilled Mystic to hit the Kefnet. Deputy was pretty nice. If, if Spark Double gets... Alright, so if, if Spark Double gets bounced, it'll just go back to our hand as Spark Double. And then, you know, you can you know, you know can play Spark Double again. If it gets flickered and, like, gets exiled and then returned to the battlefield, for example, then it would... It would be just like playing the Spark Double the first time. You would get to choose whatever you want to copy and everything like the first time. All right, so I think I want Deputy to Detention. Another one, I think. I don't know. They're like this weird control burn deck, counter burn. I mean, I have like a... Sorry, I just have like a cat here that's like right on my eye, between my eye and my glasses, and it scratch me. There we go. That's better. Um, so usually deputy attention is not good against a bunch of burn spells, right? Because they just kill it. So I don't know if I need four. I think we'll just stay with the three. Mm -hmm. Kind of thinking no sideboard. No sideboard. Main deck's great.
Mulligan. Okay. And it's looking pretty nice. Not kill a paradise druid with a burn spell. Alright. Yep, this is the bow deck. There we go. I updated the deckless command. I hadn't done that before, so now deckless command's all updated. Um. So it's pretty likely they had counter magic there, but wanted, you know, want to play the Teferi first. I don't want to, like, play the Shalai, they counter it, then play Teferi, they counter it, you know, kind of thing. At least make them use the counter spell there. And as you can tell, I did not attack with Paradise Druid because I didn't want Paradise Druid to get shocked here because I, I definitely wanted to use the double white for the Dawnbringer. So when you play Magic and lose with the deck you've been practicing with for attorney, like, uh, say you didn't like the performance, do you ever keep playing with the same deck or switch? Because it depends on how close you are to the tournament and everything. Um, for the most part, if I if I believe in the deck, I'll I'll just stay with it though. I would say, but if it's if it's like you know a week or two out, you know, especially if it's like a it, basically if it's a week or more out, um, you know, even like four or five days out, and you still have like a good amount of time, then yeah, I'll, I'll definitely consider switching. You ever wonder why hurricanes don't have two? Games of Magic are going pretty good. Over here today. This Ral Storm Conduit is sure going to be a problem. I will be blocking War Boss right now. Uh, because I'm probably going to have to attack with Dawnbringer at Ral after this. More interesting. So I don't want to, like, you know, so I don't want to sit back on defense right now. Take that. You can still walk away. <laughs> You're good. Not as good as me, but that works. This lightning strikes a lot more than twice. <laughs> Draw four. I like mono red myself more than mono white. These days, I I like all the burn spells and everything, and I like Legion War Boss in the sideboard and all sorts of stuff. I, I like mono red. I think it's a strong deck.
Every defeat is a new beginning. Nice, Achilles. Yeah, glad you're liking it. Do I play Phoenix in the sideboard for Mono Red? I guess I would have to know exactly where I want it. Like, Phoenix is, is an awesome card. It's really strong. I would need to, like, you know, play Mono Red a little bit and um, have, like, a good, a good sideboard plan for, you know, like of what I want to, to really answer if I, I think it should be one of the, your 15 sideboard cards or not. Like, I just, I'm not 100% sure, honestly. All right, so, you know, we were doing that to see if we hit Frilled Mystic, of course. Storms are like a symphony, and I am a great conductor. Yep, it's not a main to attack, so uh, just when, especially if we have like an extra Lyra or a Shalai in play, anything like that, just really helps keeping the war boss on the battlefield. Just get to gain a ridiculous amount of life. This is kind of a corner case scenario of this happening, so I'm not surprised my opponent didn't sideboard out war boss. I got, I think the war boss is good. All right, basically we have so much life right now, about to go to 44 that it's it's okay. We don't need to play like Vivian Champion of the Wilds and give our creature like, you know, we don't need to give our creature vigilance. I'd rather just look for Shalai with the arc bow. You win some, you lose some, then you repeat the experiment. Small Vivian is good. Yeah. It's, giving vigilance to, like, the Dawnbringer is awesome. Again, giving, letting all your creatures have flash so you can hold up Frilled Mystic or um, if not, if you don't need Frilled Mystic, play something else. Yeah, I really like Lil Viv. There is some redundancy with Arcbow, yes, but whenever you have Arcbow in play, you're just kind of winning. Like you're you're doing just you're doing just fine whenever you have Arcbow in play, but it's it's basically more copies of Arcbow kind of thing. Let's get that Kefnet out of here. <laughs> Those two like really hard hits, boom, boom, cannon shots, and then just this little poke. It's like poke. Yeah, Tulsmore works well with with the bow, for sure. I don't think it works better than Lyra Dawnbringer or Oketra though. I mean, Oketra doesn't necessarily work the best, but those two cards are just they're just so powerful that. Um, I like both of them more than Tulsimer. Okay, we are 1 0. How does Arcbow interact with Riot? You still get to choose what you want with Riot. You know, you can be, you can choose Haste or, 
uh, one one counter, you know, or anything like that. Like basically, sent if you're doing the arc bow on your opponent's turn, you should just always choose the one one counter with riot. Yeah, so it basically just works like normal. It just puts the creature in. Turn three, Sphinx of Foresight, huh? I think I want to Shalai over Deputy. Shalai to protect Deputy, you know, Ketra and stuff. I think them scrying twice is okay. That I, you know, really uh, set up like my better drop better plays like where I can have Oketra next turn and then double deputy the turn after. I guess counter magic though on Oketra is a problem. If they do have a counter spell here. Is it really a problem? Not really a problem. Okay, no counter magic. Okay, and does Oketra finish this one out for us? What you got? Hey, Duriel. Okay, so we didn't. So we all we saw was like mana creature, Sphinx of Foresight, and Hydroid Crisis. This definitely could be like a, a entrancing melody, mass manipulation kind of deck. So I want this Tristani. I love Deputy Detention here if they're like just playing blue green cards. Definitely love that. Um, it seems like Teferi Time Waster can be pretty good against blue cards too. But maybe I want Dovin's Veto. I guess I'm not going to go Dovin's Veto. If we go these, that's, that's a lot of cards. Like, what? It, all right, so that's four cards. What? Four cards are not so good. Maybe we don't need Jade Light. So I'm bringing in a five drop with Tristani. So should I cut a five drop? Cut a, cut a Dawnbringer? I can do that. And then do I just take out Lil Viv for Teferi? Is that even a good trade? Got 28 creatures right now. So I can go 27 creatures. Take out a Lil Viv. And what's my last card? Um, probably one more Lil Viv. I don't think I, I don't know if I want like that many of the three mana things. Whew. Time wipe would have been real bad <laughs> in that last game. They didn't have any white, did they? I thought they were just blue green. All right, well, we're definitely slower here. 
So that's not ideal. Virde, are you the the Grixis Dredge? I was playing on the Dredge the Dredge deck tomorrow. That's my plan. That's yours, Virde, because I, th I think you're the only donation deck I have for right now. I think that's the only one. So if, if it's not Grixis Dredge, then. Like the phases of the moon, like waxes I... to the library. Then I forgot yours or didn't write it down correctly. Okay, cool. Yeah, what does tomorrow work? And do you have like a time of a time of day that's that's like better? You know, like. For a second, third, or fourth. I think I asked you that before, and maybe you answered, but I, I think I missed your answer if you if you did answer. <clears throat> well, this is quite bad. They had a really fast start to our really slow start. It's not a good combination. No tail should be discarded. Not a good combination at all. Second or third. Cool. I can work with that. I am in need of rest. So they did hit another Nissa in the graveyard, so they could minus this Tamiyo and grab Nissa back. Oh, they just have another Nissa in hand. We will not fail. The land fights for us. I think you will find my notes helpful. This guy is referring to color combinations, blue, white, and red. Yeah, they have the Frilled Mystic up also. That's just way too fast. All right, so they are a Tamiyo Nissa deck. Snarfy with the sub. Thank you so much, Snarfy. All right, a little slower, but thankfully we're on the play. This would be pretty tough on the draw. I mind my opponent having just playing another land war off here this turn. Nah. A yeah, druid. So that means I'm gonna play Time Waster, Bounce, Land War Elf. I'm known for my excellent timing. That's more like it. Of course not bouncing Druid, because then Land War Elf would be able to kill the Time Waster. <laughs> this sign this song got me to buy their album what a huge disappointment it was oh i have not heard the rest of the album it's a shine down the sound of madness yeah i never heard the rest of the album i th 
I think they may have another single from like this album or from right around this time that may be on the stream playlist. But I like, yeah, I like this song. I think I have another Shine Down song or two on the playlist besides just this. I can check. Oh, I thought I could check. That wasn't quite as easy as I was expecting. They're just not playing anything. They're just not playing anything. They can't instant speed anything. Did they disconnect? All right, Tzar says, I need some advice. I can craft one deck, and I can't choose between Grixis Control and Bant Flash Midrange. What do you think about these decks? Ooh. It's a tough one. So free to play, and so you're going to be playing this deck for a while. I think, I think there's a better chance. I think I would recommend the Bant Flash Midrange. I think there's a better chance that that, that deck can adapt and um, be good for like a, a long period of time over Grixis, I guess. Because Grixis, if it gets like real popular, is pretty easy to hate out kind of thing. And also it's, you know, basically... If you're just if you could only play one deck, it's probably better to play to pick the proactive deck than the reactive deck. Is kind of what I'm saying because you the meta game. So I guess that's what I mean is like the meta game can get to a spot where the reactive deck I got this. is having a lot of troubles. Someone played an Ugin and tried to kill Oketra, and I played a Spark Double off of Arcbow and copied Oketra. <laughs> nice. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Do I want to play another land? Yeah, I want one more land in. So now, even if this land where elves dies, we have six mana to activate Shalai. So the whole, um, all right, we got to double spark, we got to double Shalai, that's cool. Double Shalai, everything hexproof. Um, all right, I don't remember what the other point I was going to make is, though. Whatever. Game's over. I was going to say about something about some cards. Oh, right, right. I was going to say that having Deputy of Detention and Frilled Mystic is...
kind of annoying because you don't know if you want, you know, like if you spin the wheel and try to counter their creature or their, their spell with Frilled Mystic and then you hit Deputy of Attention, that's going to be really annoying. But, you know, you can't really wait till afterwards and then, you know, then you hit Frilled Mystic. So it's it's kind of a guessing game. All right, so good start here, 2-0 and for Bant Arkbow. Do y'all think I should be calling the deck Bant Flash instead of Bant Arkbow? Flashbow. Let's slow this down. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, Yud. Have a good one today. Take it easy. Be a bad idea. Would you like to see what's left of Scar? Starting over is the only way. Hmm. So Teferi's gonna die. That's okay. I think I want Paradise Druid over Arkbow in play with us having the Champion of the Wilds. And it's possible if they just go to attacks. Interesting. I always survive. You'll see. Stop that. Now! No! Hmm. I am not making this up as I go! Now I, I wish I would have just let Teferi die with the draw on that Jade Light Ranger, work a Jade Light plus Vivian. I guess I'm still gonna try to do that. Which means I have to Jade Light main phase to try to hit the land drop. People, no. tear it down. Tear it I don't want a down. minus two Vivian, have the Jade Light die, and then, and like the Vivian die kind of thing. Yeah, you would just, yeah. I want to try to instant speed Lyra if I can. I am not going to sit this way. Looks like I'm not going to be I'll able to, you. though. They got a time waster. So interesting if they, okay, they are, never mind. This is never mind. All right, work. so they're going to let me kill their time waster. Oh, I. Sh well, now we're fine. It's only a matter of time. There is one. Phil. Hey, Frisky Biscuits. Thanks for that donation there. Loving the ranked play and have another go with Naya Legends sometime. All right. I can play the. I can play Naya Legends tomorrow. I can do that. And then which which slot would you like me to play at Frisky Biscuits? First, second, third, or fourth tomorrow? So I'm gonna I'm gonna play Dredge either second or third. That's kinda convenient, gives me a nice blocker. 
Get that thing out of here. Third slot? Okay. So I'll do dredge, second. The mysteries of life are endless. Oh yeah, Elvis Costello, the legend. Um, man, I want to play an arc bow. All right, that means I'm waiting even lo longer on this Dawnbringer. I just want an arc bow and play though. Tilt. Let me show you what was lost. No frilled mystic anymore. It's a good sign. What? Do I want to just like, you know? I don't know, play the wild growth walker first. Come on, hit a hit a lag patch here. Eat this thing up. Hop. Clutch. All things begin and end in nature. Really? Wild wasn't meant to be contained. So if they played the time waster, I wasn't going to be able to... Flash in July at the perfect time. There's the elf wizard lizard. Ooh. I'm attacking with Shalai and not back. Lyra because like Lyra has hex proof while Shalai doesn't.
I could have played the Glacial Fortress and had the Spark double up. Or like had, had sorry, the Vivian Arcbow for four to look for Spark double or another Filled Mystic up. All right, so a very similar deck here. Real similar deck that we're playing against. Ugh. Definitely think I want more time wasters. Probably another deputy, and I guess I'm just like, do I just take out jade lights for that? We go down to 25 creatures. It's probably fine. Vivians were awesome. I think I should probably keep those in. I don't have like a, a ton of defense. Yeah, you know, I don't have very much early defense against like my planeswalkers with this configuration, but. Grilled Mystic's definitely worse, if, you know, if they have their own time waster, but I guess we have the Arc Bow. Should I play one Tristani instead of one of the Vivians? So I guess if they have a Teferi out, then I can't instant speed stuff, and this is not nearly as good. So maybe I can go down to two there. Maybe play a Tristani for, like, good defense and stuff. Hmm. You know, good defense against, like, Wild Growth Walkers is what I'm thinking. There. Maybe I just play the the Jade Light. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play one Jade Light over one Vivian. Flash is neat. Yeah, Arcbo does. It is close to Birthing Pod. That is true. So I'm just going to, so I don't forget. So we're going to have, um, yeah, we can keep this. So we're going to have Dredge second tomorrow, and we're going to have Naya Legends third. Cool. Full house down. Curve starts at four. Dilt. I can no longer stand by and Good card against curve starting at four dot deck. Lebrontodon. I've done the hero thing before. Really hope they don't kill Shalai and just let me untap with it. Really hope they don't kill Shalai and let me untap with it. Please just play like your own thing. I'm going for it here. Okay, there we go. Play your own Shalai. That's good. I'll protect you. All right, here we go. We got them locked out. We got them locked out. The hard lock. It's a hard lock life for you. It's a hard lock life for you. All right, Command the Citadel is up on YouTube now. Burn the whole house down. <laughs> and there we go. 
GG's. Hey, Crixen. GG's. The hard, the hard lock. This spark double has been awesome, but we've actually been. I, so I just have one um, spark double in there, but we've been pulling it off in these three matches so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. GG's there. Yeah. So I have. I'm you know I'm trying to go with like the Shalai Lyra like I think those cards are just really really good like these two angels, uh, especially when they're instant speed with like Arcbow and Vivian or if your opponent can't interact with them, too easily, and so I have just this one Spark Double chilling in here, and we've been getting people with the Shalai Spark Double combo, quite a bit. It's been pretty sweet. <laughs> that was legit as hell, man. Thanks. Thanks, Kirkson. Good G GGs there. All right, three and zero. Oh. Here, let's let's do a reset. It's been around four hours, and as you've seen there recently, it's arena is kind of getting sluggish again. Let's do a quick reset right now. Okay. Yeah, Ban Arcbow's been been pretty sweet here. Oh no, Rex, you have too many decks to play now? Oh, such a such a tough problem. Not enough not enough time, too many decks. No, okay, so the the first 1,200 people have a number, and then after, after 1,200 people, then you get a then you get a ranking from 100% going down. The more you lose, so you have to win once. So it's like we're 96% of the way towards the top 1,200, I guess, or so you know. Like so, basically, it works like that. Like it's um, whenever after whenever we get to 100%, then we'll be in top 1,200, and then we'll get a number again. <laughs> that spark devil still has me stunned. <laughs> yeah, I, w I played the Shalai. I was like crossing my fingers, like, please don't, please don't kill my Shalai. Just play anything of your own card. Just play something, tap out. You played the Shalai, and I was like, perfect. <laughs> Get that. Get that spark double life. I've been copying like Lyra Dawnbringer, like the match before. So you could have two Lyras that both pump each other because they're both angels. That's been pretty cool. Yeah, Baby Viv, not so good against Teferi, of course. So this Glacial Fortress has to come into play tapped right now. Phoenix is annoying. Hmm. How this thing goes. Please don't. You, please don't get a Phoenix out this turn and start killing me. Or multiple For Phoenixes. Fallen. Please don't kill me. They've already used two charter courses and one opt. Just pass the turn. Uh, that's not so good. I mean, they can only play two spells this turn, I guess. I got two other mana. I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, we're Vivian Tribal. We're shooting to the right. Okay. I'm actually not so mad about that, because they can't play three spells this turn, so getting... You know, so using those spells right now, that's kind of a good thing for me.
Don't kill my Vivian. Lost a home? Oh my gosh, I can't play Frilled Mystic now. Oh, uh, I played the wrong land. I can't play Frilled Mystic. Tilt. Alright, looks like we're activating the Sark Bow. Whoops. Be nice to play this card. Mystic? Always had it? Always almost had it. Alright, now I have their Lava Coil turned on. Because I did this. You know, that's kind of the other problem with Frilled Mystic, is it does, it makes you play your thing sorcery speed. Come on, no coil, no coil, no coil, no coil. No coil! One time dealer! Alright, got the hard lock. Got the hard lock life. Let for me show us. you what was lost. You just gave me an idea. All right. It's so dirty. <laughs> it's never punished. All right, now I hope they Oh no. No, dispersal. Hmm. I guess we bounce real Shalai cuz fake Shalai uh, fake Shalai is a 4-5, so it doesn't die to Coil. They have two phoenixes they're going to be able to get back now. So we need to play real Shalai again next turn to get that hard lock back. And then go find Lyra Dawnbringer and then the game ends. That's how we win. If We'll see if our opponent can disrupt us and kill us before we can find Lyra Dawnbringer and stuff. Two phoenixes. Yeah, we got... Yep, spark double. That's our fake shalai. I guess I'll minus you. There is by now. In a blade of grass. Really? Really auto tap? Why would the auto tap leave the two blue white lands anyway when I have green cards in my hand? I mean, I'm just never, like, casting the Frilled Mystic, I don't think. So I don't really need the other cards either, though. I guess I'm not really casting any of those cards. Gotta find Lyra Dawnbringer. They better not have another Dispersal.
really? Can't just like wait a turn before having another dispersal for me to have these things. Well, I messed that whole game up, obviously, by not countering the Sahili by playing the, the wrong land. I messed that whole thing up. That was pretty unfortunate. I thought we were going to have that, though. I really did. But I messed it up. So, Harpooner, Veto... Deputy, T Teferi, certainly all reasonable cards. I like Teferi more on the play than on the draw, because on the play you can you know bounce like there 2-2. Two -two. A lot easier. Teferi does shut down Finale of Promise. Yeah, yeah, they're random. They're random crips. Having that black mana killed us. You know, if they didn't, if they don't have the black mana. We we win those, or we win that game. I kind of think I will actually want Dovin's veto, honestly. Four creatures. That's that's probably fine. <laughs> Thanks, Ani. Thanks for the good shuffler luck. No, I don't think Oketra is slow for the matchup. I mean, it makes four fours that like four fours kill people really quickly. Hmm. So I could deal them one damage or get the shock land in. Obviously, we draw five drop. So yeah, I wanted to save the counter spells for charter courses and tormenting voices, things that draw multiple cards. Had to get like two other cards in the graveyard, two other instants and sorceries in the graveyard, and then Beacon Bolt. And so hoping we get to just untap with it. Really? Well, that's that's a way to have the Beacon Bolt. Dang. I just need to untap. That's <laughs> uh, just need to untap with it. Okay, well, get to top deck back. They ditched a phoenix too. To the to the bacon bolt. Hey, what's up, Crimson? Our Bant Arcbow deck has been looking pretty sweet. They 
They've been dispersing me really bad. As you can tell, I kept this in hand in case of another dispersal. Man, and they hit another Phoenix. Their hand's been pretty nice, pretty nice. Another Phoenix? Wow. So we're going to have three Phoenixes here. Obviously, I can't raise three phoenixes. Or can I? No, not really. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what your question is, Joyf. So I would like to draw an arc bow, of course. Wait, are these not coming back? Didn't they play? Like they played Tormenting Voice, Discovery, and Radical Idea this turn, right? So like, what's going on here? Opponents and declare attackers. I oh, know there, there they are finally. They got the removal? No? No removal? Jeez. They had removal. I guess because of Arc Bow, I should have just got rid of that Hallowed Fountain. Should have kept the Hallowed Fountain because of Arc Bow. I saw the one in the G. I thought that was going to be the Arc Bow there. Man, our opponent just had, it, had all the answers there, those two games. Both those games, I thought we were winning. I just had all the answers. Especially that first game, I really thought we were winning, but then disper dis you know, those two dispersals immediately before we could untap and have Frilled Mystic up. So the format's very tight. Everybody's trying to push these cards beyond their limits. I think they're traditional stable method servers well. Serves well. Um, I guess I'm still not quite getting you. But yeah, that was a that was a really good match. We ended up losing it, but that was definitely a good match. Do we just go for it? I don't know if, even if I have like the double shalai thing, if that's even really that great, because they could just run me over with bigger creatures. In this matchup. They could definitely have like Collision Colossus.
So try to get ahead a little bit with the head just a tad here with the Shalai. Or sorry, with the Frilled Mystic. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. Hmm. That's an interesting line. They're willing to trade like their Domri and their other card to kill the Shalai. After I've licked my wounds. You'll see. So we don't have two white for Okatra, unfortunately. There it is. That should do it. Frill Mystic real strong. Keeps that battlefield clear after you get ahead. I kind of think I want Baffling End instead of Deputy of Detention. I guess I should play Tristani. I don't think I really want Deputy of Detention. I feel like it's going to die. I think with Teferi on the draw. Not so great. That was Vivian, honestly. Honestly, they, they pressure just Planeswalkers really well. Guess a lot of their scarier stuff doesn't die to Baffling End. What if I go like this? Get rid of Teferi, go down to two Vivian, two Deputy, and play a couple Baffling Ends. Let's try that. No, not really. Uh, not having Ferox in our deck hasn't really been an issue. There's a lot of small creatures around in this metagame now that weren't really there a couple of weeks ago. I don't think Ferox is as good as it was like 10 days, 2 weeks ago. And I've, I haven't been super happy with Ferox, and so yeah, not, not having it hasn't really been too much of an issue. Alright, so is this Paradise Druid time, or Baffling End that 3-3 three, three time? Certainly one of the two, and it's certainly that. Um, if I go Paradise Druid, I could have Frilled Mystic next turn. So then Frilled Mystic can trade with the 3-3. But if they just have, like, Spellbreaker this next turn or Domri. Ooh, or Domri. I think I kind of want to just Baffling on this. And the next turn, if we drew the, draw the blue source, then we'll have Frilled Mystic. If not, we'll just go Arcbow Druid, which is fine, because then I can have Arc, Arcbow plus Frilled Mystic up like the rest of the game. Having Arcbow up is really nice. Okay, I don't really want to shock. This turn, I want to still just do that. They didn't play a land drop. We should be good. We can have Arcbow for five or Frilled Mystic. Arcbow for six.
Let's go find Lyra Dawnbringer and God Eternal Oketra. Hey, Zan. So I guess like the only way I could get punished by having like trying to go find Lyra is if they have like Collision Colossus. That's okay. Like we could find Oketra. Sure, Deputy's good. Deputy can just take a burn spell or whatever. It's fine. And Arcbow is so good. Take it. Basically, Collision Colossus is like the one card I'm I'm worried about. That's the card I'm worried about right now. And Oketra gets around Collision Colossus. Well, gets around the Colossus part, not really the Collision part. Yeah, I like haste a whole lot these days, Joyve. Trying to go under the Planeswalkers and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the God's Unlimited. They're just unbeatable. Yeah, can you imagine facing an Oketra Unlimited? Yeah, no, you're just dead. Just actual dead. Can't beat these cards Unlimited. Yeah, there's no way that card has reach. It's up in the clouds with a bow and arrow. There's no way it has reach. Had an opponent drop a Kefnet into Bantu in a draft. <laughs> that is a shake my head moment right there. Would you recommend this version over the Selesnia version? Maybe. Maybe we're getting there. Ooh, is my opponent playing my deck? No, they're not. It's not quite my deck. No, because it's the Goblin deck. No, it's not. Um, you know, I this is only my fifth match with this deck, but I, I've liked the the blue so far, and and yeah, Ferox is not as good as it has as it was before. I think if this if this version can beat red, which we we haven't faced red. But yeah, I could see I could see Bant being better than Celestia. Liked it so far. So we either have Arcbow for eight or Shalai activation. We have one of those two. Mm -hmm. 
Best things to hit with Arcbow are Lyra Dawnbringer and Spark Double. Those are the two good ones. Should they have something crazy, hitting a Frilled Mystic, of course, would not be bad either, which Spark Double could also be a Frilled Mystic. Like a deputy right now, also. Alright, so that first strike blocks there. Um, this chumps the 12 6. This blocks this god. And then I'm just taking, taking 12. I could take eight, I guess. Yeah, I think I can just kill them. I think I can just take the 12. Uh, maybe they have something that kills me. No, I have like all this hexproof and everything. They need like Colossus. Oh, I guess Colossus on Spellbreaker would be really rough right now. Oh, I guess Colossus on Spellbreaker. Oh, yeah, I definitely know, like, the Leader Life Length, so I was considering just taking it. But even Colossus on Nullhide Ferox, too. Yeah, basically, it's, it's just all, it's always Colossus. That's, like, the, that's, like, the card, the one card that could kill me. Twenty-four minus nine is what fifteen. Woo! I think so. That killed my my Lyra. But I think my opponent had lethal if they Colossus the Fer. Yeah, they had lethal if they Colossus the Ferox, right? Didn't they? Give that whole thing trample. I don't know. I didn't math it out, but I kind of feel like they did. Anyway, they're likely going to still kill us here. I think doing it on the Ferox killed us. What about one, two, three, four, five, six? What do you mean, are you sure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're still in it. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. The 
So why not attack? Um, could have maybe killed both their creatures if we hit spark double here. If they attack with both, we hit spark double. Both our things are bigger. It's possible. I guess we're just out racing them now, though. Yeah, I could have sat back and, and tried to pump Lyra, that's true. Oh gosh, God Eternal Ronus was coming? Okay, I did not pay attention to that. Okay, that's kind of my bad. I forgot about Ronus coming back. I was just gonna, you know, race him here. Never didn't have it though. Always had that covered. <laughs> Good thing they didn't just attack with Ilharg and put it in. <laughs> Always had that covered. Alright, four and one. This Ban Arctic bow deck's been pretty nice. It's been pretty nice. Let's What do we got? Five o'clock? Almost. Let's play one more. I just did the reset two matches ago. Yeah, Arkbo is is nice. New birthing pod. Except for you don't need other you don't need to sacrifice creatures. It's just I mean looking at seven cards every time, you you're gonna hit stuff. You're gonna hit good stuff. We were doing a really good job of just like drawing a land every single turn too that we could just ditch to Arkbo and not feel bad about it. Okay, good start for us. So I guess they were on, what, five cards? Is that right? I don't think holding up Frilled Mystic this turn makes a whole lot of sense. I think they're just going to activate Growth Chamber Guardian. Like, basically, I think we just play Lyra Dawnbringer next turn and then have Frilled Mystic after that. We have recently, we have improved on our land to spell drawing. We're doing better there. Could have played the planes, attack for two, or shock in, attack for two. Meh. Just get the Hallowed Found in place. Now we have all four of these for the Mystic. Boy, in anger, show us you're alive. The more, the messier. The old main deck, Tybalt. Tybalt. That's it. Game over. Sure. Yeah, they really countered my Lyra there. 
It got me good. This card is just really nice in this metagame. Super strong. Well, that's going to make their creatures uncounterable. Might as well just counter it. And, yeah, one of the main things, reason why this is so good in the current metagame is because all the flash with having Arcbow and Vivian and Vivian's Arcbow, um, being able to play at instant speed, it's just awesome. So pretty sure we just outraced them, right? Yeah. Just gonna keep attacking with this Dawnbringer. All right, Ryville. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. No sword can pierce my Sarkin. <laughs> Sarkin's mean. Listen to them roar. If I attack with Jade Light there, they could just, because they'd take one from the dragon, then they could block with the 1-1 one, one to have the Jade Light take another one, and then the ping, ping Jade Light. I guess I could have played the Shalai first to keep that from happening, but still, they could have just blocked with Land of Werewolf and that with Jade Light also. So we do have lethal next turn with Shalai activation. Not anymore. Doing good, Alexis. Doing good. I summon you. How are you doing? We haven't really been using Shalai's activated ability like at all here. I guess I just kill Sarkin. Nah. I make it so they die next turn, right? Yeah. Come on. I will consume you. So now they need to minus the Sarkin to get a Drago. And then they have to jump with the Dragon and the Phoenix. Okay. We got him. A holiday tomorrow in Canada, so no work. Awesome. What holiday? I'm going to grab another deputy. A couple baffling ends. We played against a real similar deck earlier. And then less of these things.
Frilled Mystic is, you know, kind of expensive for the body. I'm going to have all four Frilled Mystics in on the play. No, actually, I, I think I'll just play all of them. Maybe I just want one Baffling End. Nah. Let's take one of the Frilled Mystics out on the draw. Could cut a Jade Light Ranger also, but... La Fête des per Patriots. Queen Victoria Day. La Fête des Patriots. La Fête. I think that's probably a hard T. That'd be my guess. La Fête. I think... So, so... Sobian, I think the pro there's promo I've heard of promo lands, but I think all the promo lands are for I guess I'm gonna shock this in so I can have Glacial Fortress next turn. I think all the promo lands are for Magic Online and not Magic Arena. <laughs> I don't live in Canada. Canada's cool, though. So I could deputize those. Yeah, might as well. Looks like... Like these... Like, look at those claws. Like, those are way too big. You're under arrest. Can't have claws like that. Arrested. No claws like that. That's Come and destroy. That's desperate. Sorry, excuse me. One, 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 one. I guess it was no, two, one, one, one. Seen the last of me. <laughs> Can you imagine Simic Guild members going through airport security? <laughs> you can't go through airport security with those claws. Arrested. <laughs> Not regulation size cla claws. To the slammer. All right, so five and one. Good run there. I think we'll move on to, to Grixis now. For like two hours. Um, yes, Vancouver's in Canada. I don't I don't live in Vancouver. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so, oh no, Gruel Arcbow. <laughs> Chose the wrong Arcbow deck. Ban Arcbow. Anyway, this deck was sweet. Yeah, I liked this a whole lot. Like, honestly, maybe this is better than, than the Selesnya these days. We didn't play against any mono red. I think our matchup is worse against mono red than what it was before with having Null Hide Ferox. But maybe not that much worse. Deputy Detention would, would definitely help you in that matchup. But this was really good. Deputy was good. Frilled Mystic was good. Shalai, Lyra are awesome, of course. Spark Double was incredible. Yeah, I like it, this deck a, a whole lot. Um, we went 5 1, and our loss was like two games that I thought that we were winning, but our opponent just, like, had all the answers. But I thought, like, we were we were winning the game, especially the first game. That first game was crazy. We had the double Shalai lock, the Shalai spark double. We had the double Shalai lock on, on uh, the Phoenix deck twice with an arc bow out, but they just had disper they just had dispersal twice. And I had and I had Frilled Mystics in my hand, so if I would just untap with those, if I untap with those, I was going to have Frilled Mystic available to protect them. Plus Arcbow to go find Lyra and just lock the game, but they just had dispersal both times, and then tempoed me out with Phoenix and stuff. Yeah, I think we'll play this deck again soon. This is this was a good one. I think so. Next weekend there's the the uh, tournament, some mythic tournament like next Saturday, and you know I need some good standard deck, and I think this. <clears throat> right now, this is my front runner. I guess. Like, I think I think I like this more than Selesnia. Um, 
<laughs> Crookson's in here. I don't want to talk about the Shalai Spark double combo. It's a good combo. Yeah, this deck was sweet. So yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna play this one some more. Maybe play this tomorrow. Also, we got a couple donation decks for tomorrow, but maybe we'll throw this one out there too. So this deck definitely felt real. All right, if you are watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you give the deck a try. Let me know uh, how it works for you. You know, give me some feedback. If you're trying this deck, you know anybody here in chat or anybody on YouTube later. So I have like some more games, some you know more ideas of like anything we need to change. But all right, there we go. That's Bant Arcbow. Uh, please hit the like button over there if you're watching on YouTube. The subscribe button would be nice as well. And of course, thank you very much for watching.